Chapter 18 Alma the Younger Repents King Mosiah made Alma the leader of the church in Zarahemla. Alma then chose other men to help him teach the Nephites. Alma and King Mosiah worried because unbelievers were making church members suffer because of their beliefs. Alma had a son named Alma. Alma the Younger did not believe the teachings of his father and became a wicked man. Alma the Younger and the four sons of King Mosiah fought against the church. They persuaded many people to leave the church and become wicked. Alma prayed that his son would learn the truth and repent. Alma the Younger and the sons of King Mosiah continued trying to destroy the church. One day, an angel appeared to them. The angel spoke in a loud voice that shook the ground. The five young men were so frightened that they fell down. At first, they could not understand what the angel was saying. The angel had come in answer to the prayers of church members. The angel asked Alma the Younger why he was fighting against the church. The ground shook as the angel told Alma the Younger to stop trying to destroy the church. Alma the Younger and the sons of Mosiah fell down again. They had seen an angel, and they knew the power of God had shaken the ground. Alma the Younger was so astonished that he could not speak. He became so weak that he could not even move his hands. The sons of Mosiah carried Alma the Younger to his father and told him all that had happened to them. Alma was happy. He knew that God had answered his prayers. Alma called many people together to see what the Lord had done for his son and for the sons of Mosiah. Alma, along with other church leaders, fasted and prayed and asked God to help Alma the Younger become strong again. After two days and nights, Alma the Younger was able to speak and move. He told the people he had repented of his sins and God had forgiven him. He taught that everyone must become righteous in order to enter God's kingdom. He also told of the great pain he had suffered because of his sins. Alma the Younger was happy because he had repented and God had forgiven him. He knew God loved him. Alma the Younger and the sons of King Mosiah began to teach the truth throughout the land, telling everyone what they had seen and heard. They tried to undo the wrong they had done. They explained the scriptures to the people and taught them about Jesus Christ. God blessed Alma the Younger and the sons of Mosiah as they taught the gospel. Many people listened to them and believed. <laughs>